Hello everyone. We will continue the topic how to convert a smart form output to PDF. And we finished with our first step. We are now getting the text format of the smart form. We are getting a text format in this ls job output info otf data in this internal table we are getting the output of the smart form in text format now we will jump on to our next step our next step is we will convert this text format to pdf format means we will convert this OTF to PDF. Now, if I want to convert this OTF to PDF, SAP provided a function module. What is the function module? Convert underscore OTF. With the help of this function module, we will convert our text format to PDF format. How to do this? We will do the practical now. I will go to my program. Now we will go for next step. I will call the function module through the pattern button. And I will pass the name of the function module convert underscore OTS. And now this function module will convert our OTF to PDF. So what is the format we want? We want a PDF format. So I will pass the format as PDF. We want a PDF format. Now, here I will pass my OTF, whatever the OTF you generated. Where is your OTF? Your OTF is in this parameter. And in this parameter, what is the component in this parameter? In this parameter, the component is OTF data. So I will simply pass OTF data. So in this internal table, we have the OTF. Now I will pass one internal table in front of lines. Suppose my name of the internal table is LT underscore PDF data. So I'll say PDF lines. LT underscore lines underscore PDF. What is the best practice? We should always, always uncomment the exceptions. The type of LT lines PDF will be same as that of lines. So we will simply declare a internal table. How to check? I'll simply double click on the function module. Tables tab, we have lines. Lines is of this type. So I'll simply copy this and declare one internal table in my program. Data, LT underscore lines, PDF underscore lines, type table of, because I am declaring internal table, T line. I will check the syntax. Okay, it is LT underscore lines underscore PDF. I will change this. I'll check the syntax and activate. Now, how this function module will work? This function module will take your OTF, it will convert it to PDF, and in this internal table, it will give us the PDF. Means it will take the text format convert it to PDF and after converting it to PDF, it will return in this internal table. 
we will see in that debugging mode how it is returning the PDF. So I'll simply put a breakpoint so that you can understand. I will give the order number. Now you can see we have the OTF output in text format. As of now, there is no PDF because zero lines are there. Whenever I will execute this function module, this text format will convert to PDF format and PDF will return in this internal table. If I will execute this, you can see 89 records came into this internal table. If I will show you, you can see we have the 89 lines in this internal table. And this is our PDF. This is our PDF. Now, it depends upon the requirement. You can mail this PDF also, or you can save, or you can download this PDF also. Suppose I will download this particular PDF. So in these two steps, we received the text format. We converted that text format to PDF format. So now we will download this PDF format so that you can see clearly how PDF is downloading. So if I will I want to download this PDF, suppose I will download this PDF through GUI download function module. So I will go to this function module. I'll go for OK. I will suppose download this PDF on my desktop. So I'll pass the full path of the desktop. I'll just check the properties of any of the document so that I can pass the full path. Sometimes in the project, they might ask you to mail this PDF. Suppose they might ask you to download this PDF. Suppose we will download this PDF. Suppose I will save my PDF on my desktop. Suppose my name of the PDF will be order. Order.pdf. Now I will go to file type. I will pass the file type as binary. Why I am I'm going for binary? Because I do not want to change anything. I just want to transfer the same to same data on my desktop without converting anything. I just download this PDF on my desktop. So I pass the file type as binary so that no conversion take place, nothing. Now, which, which PDF you want to download? In this internal table, we have the PDF. So this PDF will download on this particular path. I will simply check the syntax and activate it. I will show you in debugging mode how it is working. I will just pass the input. I'll go to desktop 3. I'll just uh, go for best practice. I have not uncommented the exception. So I will uncomment the exceptions of the last function module also. So that if some error will come, we can recognize easily. I will uncomment the exceptions of GUI download. And now I will show you in debugging. I'm running this program. Now. Firstly, we will get the OTF. If I will show you OTF data, this is blank. Now, OTF will come into this internal table, 685 rows of text format. Now, I'm converting this 685 to PDF now. If I will go for this function module, which is my second step, 
now you can see 89 rows came into our pdf internal table now we are downloading this pdf on our desktop if i'll go for okay you can see the file is downloaded if i will show you my desktop on my desktop there is a file order if i will show you you can see this is our output in the pdf format and our pdf is downloaded you can see this our pdf i can simply simply see this in pdf format so what is the summary of this topic in this topic we learned how to convert a smart form to pdf the first step you should get a otf of the smart form otf means text format whenever you are creating a smart form whenever you are creating a smart form you are choosing by default standard output as a output format if you are choosing this your output of the smart form whenever you are running the smart form your output of the smart form is in text format so we received this text format through the coding and after that we simply simply converted this text format to pdf format so that's it in this particular video thank you